I do think that AI, it's not replacing software engineers, but it's replacing some products out there. I think some markets are being truly affected by AI. The most clear example is learning content. Previously, if you had a product that your only thing was literally putting learning content out there, I think that market will be heavily impacted. It's just easier these days to search information using ChatGPT or Cloud Code. If I have a question, I ask Cloud Code. If the cloud code is being too complex, I can just literally ask for it, just a tone and it will just literally translate all the information in a different way. Learning content is one example, but I think there is many other examples that will be affected by this. If your website was all about displaying information like documentation, for example, I think documentation websites will not simply be used anymore because if I have a question, I just prompt AI. So learning content is obviously one example. Websites with a lot of information, including documentation, are being affected as well. And I think like in general, all the products that are now not being used anymore because it's just easier to do with AI, will just eventually do layoffs. And those are software engineers, but they will also lay off other professions, other people on the market. This is obviously scary times. I am scared as well at the minute. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Not scared that I will lose my job, but potentially some of the income of the company that I work for will be affected by AI. You know what I mean? So I don't think it will be the case with Laravel anytime soon, but will potentially affect other people in my family as well on this regard. I think there is two things we can do in general, and I want you guys, especially the ones who watch me on YouTube, to be successful on this age, on this area. I think there is two things we can do. Thing number one, complain all day, go to Twitter, talk shit, and that's it. Thing number two is just literally prepare for the future. I'm gonna myself prepare for the future. As a software engineer, I want to become very good using AI tools. I want to become very good with open code, with cloth code, understanding models. How do I use those models more efficiently? I want my workflow with AI to just be perfect, become a better software engineer, more productive one, especially. At the same time, I also want to become better at other skills. Either that be soft skills, just becoming a better person, better teammate, but also at the same time, I want to become better with other skills like content creation, for example. I want to keep creating content, especially content that is human, not things that are prepared in advance, but more things like live streaming, for example. I think there is at least one, one thing that AI will never take from me, which is live streaming. People love human interaction, and I think at least live streaming won't be affected by AI anytime soon. So that's something that I have as a backup plan at least. If software engineering in the future becomes highly affected by AI, at least I have this backup plan, which is the YouTube and Twitch and all this side project that I'm working on at the minute. I want you guys to also look at this moment of AI with some positivity as well. You know, I know there is a lot of things we don't know, but there is a lot of things we do know. Like we can become more productive with AI. We can potentially launch products with AI as well that have not been launched before. There is a lot of opportunities as well. You know, try to not face this new thing being negative and be positive instead. That's what I will try to do. And at the minute, my live streams are being totally about open code, about improving my AI workflow. Potentially, the next one will be about building a product fully with only AI, almost without relying on IDEs. And just embrace this stuff, honestly. There is no other thing we can do. It's not like we can just say stop AI and that's it. We cannot do that, right? So I think one option we have is just embrace this stuff and become better with it every single day. I'm uh, using AI for many things these days for learning, for improving my workflow as a software engineer. And I do feel for a fact that my software engineer productivity have massively improved exponentially with AI. So, you know, just to let you know, if you are not using AI already for your software endeavors, just start using it right now. And mastering the flow, mastering the workflow, become better prompting, become better using all this tooling that is available for us at the minute, understanding models, like all this science can be studied, it can be studied, you can become better using it and potentially become better than other software engineers. I'm going to tell you something. This might feel a little bit confusing. You might feel that everyone is freaking out with AI, but there is a lot of people who don't even have a clue that AI is here, man. There is a lot of software engineers going to the job at 9 a.m., leaving at 5 p.m., and they have literally no idea how much the industry is moving at the minute, okay? 
how many changes are coming for our industry but also for other industries as well so if you know that that's a good thing already meaning that you can prepare yourself i'm gonna do my best to help you out as well so this is no no please click on the like below if you can love you all and catch you guys next time boo, boo, boo.